The Sangri Grandi Regional Corporation is one that has been keenly contested in the past local government elections, and that track record is expected to be the same on August 14th. Sinalala takes a look at the main marginal seat of Sangri Grandi Northwest, which holds the key to gaining the corporation. In the past four local government elections, the Sangre Grande Northwest seat has relatively been a marginal one, changing hands from the UNC to the PNM and back to the UNC. In fact, it's been so marginal that it was just separated by 40 votes in the 2016 local government elections. The incumbent for the area, the UNC's Nasser Hussein, is now going up against the PNM's Alicia Thomas, a past representative for the area, after winning that seat in 2013. The voter turnout for this seat has relatively stayed around a 44% mark since 2010, despite the district moving up by almost 1,000 eligible voters. And the main issue in the area, according to several residents, continues to be proper representation. When the council are in the village, we friend Bluey, who is already watching football, he do no time. I went back again, he had no time. Right now, he produces a card for me to vote for him. I never want to help me. And a business owner and resident, Bobby Lacan, urged representatives in the area to deal with the major issue of flooding, noting that his gym has been affected several times, with even his investment in floodgates proving ineffective. I'd be a lot of flooding. The gym has be flooded every time rain falls. It flooded about four or five times, water high as like four feet high. Another resident who opted to speak off camera said he's disappointed with the development of sporting facilities in the area, especially to keep at-risk youths away from crime. People can come down, stick out, commit crimes. Nobody really managing the ground. The regional corporation and the municipal police in charge. But they just open up for anything to go on. And Monsho Masimba touched on an inconsistent water supply, something that has been affecting many parts of Grandi, urging councillors to voice this issue. Something that we weren't, uh, weren't used to before, but you know, when, when you're accustomed to having a, a supply of stuff and that now no longer exists, you feel it. You even feel it more than people who've been suffering all the time. Now, the PNM has already indicated it's seeking to take back control of the Sangre Grande Regional Corporation, which has been in the hands of the UNC since 2019. And this seat in particular is one that all eyes will be on in the 2023 local government elections. Sonolala, TTT News.